Okay, so today I have this RG14 22 caliber revolver. I don't see any videos on YouTube on how to disassemble one. I figured I'd give it a shot. See how I do. So first of all, remove your cylinder pin. Verify that it is unloaded. I went ahead and removed the grips already. I'm not going to worry about that. Right in front, you have a flathead screw. Cylinder comes out with a crane, slides right out. Nothing complicated about that. Next, we have three more flathead screws. One and two are identical. Number three is going to be different. Now before you go remove this side plate right here, you want to first prepare the mainspring. To do so, pull the hammer back, and you'll see a hole in this rod for the, for the spring rod. Take a paper clip or something similar, put it in that hole. Now release the hammer. And your spring is now loose. It's free. Next, you can pry up that side plate. I might go ahead and use this. There we go. Okay. Something to watch for. If it's going to stay on the frame or it's going to stay on the side plate or it's just going to fall free, there is a straight pin right here. This is just a wedge for the two pieces. You want to make sure that is accounted for and set aside. That will go on last. The side plate has no other springs or pins on it. If you remove your mainspring, Nice and easy. For the rest of this, I want to first remove this cylinder lock by releasing the tension from the spring. I'm going to hold the other parts right here with my thumb. That's your cylinder lock spring. Cylinder lock just kind of falls. I could actually dump this pistol to the side and it'll fall right, right off. This, I simply grab that corner right here, lift up and down, and the hand comes right out. For the hammer, to remove the hammer, I'm going to pull the trigger back, holding it down with my thumb until the hammer comes out nice and easy. Simple as that. Trigger is now free to be moved around. Pops right out. You have a trigger spring right here. It's a kind of heavy spring. I don't really want to mess with pulling it out right now, so I'm not. We'll point out this right here is let's see yeah I think you can see it that is your handspring kind of seats right in here kind of see it on the side and this is your safety spring it moves freely at all times doesn't really connect to anything else other than the trigger and it can slide in and out nice and easy just like that and back in. Also, note this little pin on the inside, that's where your trigger spring sits. Right on the inside. Keep that in mind when you're reassembling. Another thing I don't really want to mess with right now, because it's, it's in there pretty good at the moment, I want to leave it, is your firing pin. 
It requires a flathead screwdriver to press in there, unscrew it, pull it out. Not very complicated. All right, now to put it all back together. Take the handspring, put it back where it goes. Now, I'll work that trigger spring up there over that pin. I'm going to start down low and push up. Make sure this safety spring is to the back. Just like that. Make sure there's tension on the trigger. The spring's working. Safety spring's going to stay up. Holding the trigger down. Safe the trigger spring's continuously trying to push the trigger back out. Keep that in mind. Hammer, just like I did when I was taking it out. Pull this trigger back. Hammer will fall right in place. You see where the trigger is. Okay. Just like that. Safety spring should be seated as you can see here. That's where it belongs. So. Uh, I'm going to do the hand right now. I already have the spring in there. I'm just going to press down on the spring at the end of the hand. And I can't really see it through my thumb. But move it around till it finds its finds its seat. Just like that. Gonna drop the cylinder lock back into place. And then the cylinder lock spring. Sit that in there. Use my flathead. Push it back into place. Return the mainspring. And now the side plate. Just like that. Right there. Okay. You can put that washer at the end of the spring back to where it was before. Just like that. Pull the hammer back. Paper clip out. And that's done. Return all the other screws. All right. Those three screws are back in there. In proper location. I'm going to show you this now. There it is to the right of the hammer. You see a hole. That is where this little pin goes. Slides it down in there. You can just push it down in. If it's not going right, you might want to have a small punch just to kind of finish it off. So now that's in there. Put the cylinder back in. In fact, I think I'll put the cylinder pin in just to hold it in place. Okay, there. Grips back on. Alright, that's that. Now time for a function test. Everything locks, fires, releases, resets. Double action, single action. It's all good. So I can get this to do something for you. Okay, sometimes when reassembling it, you may have noticed this. It might get in the way of a cylinder from closing. For that, push down on the cylinder lock. 
and it will allow the reset. You can now close the cylinder. Okay, one more thing. I'm going to set this up. Tighten this screw down. Nice and tight. And I'm going to take this, just like I did before. I'm going to fire it. Now look at that. The trigger did not reset. Got to push it forward. Same thing. Double action. Does not reset. If it's doing this after assembly, it's because you over tighten the screw. Back that screw off and just finger tighten that. Nothing too, nothing extreme, just snug. Now it resets. Thanks for watching.